Okay, and we're back. So, um, let's finish going up to the attic again. Let's see if we can get any more items. Ooh. This is a useful item. As you can imagine, uh, can't go wrong with a Swiss Army knife. So close. There we go. And I think. Oh. Actually, I'm torn. We can click on these flowers on the carpet, um, and sometimes something good will happen, but they can also curse you. Let's just try it. Okay, also sometimes nothing happens. Hello, this is Gain. Let's see if he's good or evil. Uh, okay, I think he was evil. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh. oh, oh my god. Oh no. What has he done? Okay, he cursed us. Uh. I don't know what kind of curse it is yet. Uh, let's test it out. Okay. So we can move things around okay. That's one of the curses you can get. Um, again? Okay, his feet are pointing the other way. So I wonder if that means that this one is not evil? You know what, let's test it out. Uh, let's give him... Oh, what's something that we don't need? Well, we have a lot of junk in here. Uh, let's give him this. Oh, I see. So it's the curse where things move the opposite way. Hey, okay. So if his feet are pointing to the right, and he makes that same noise that he just made, then he's the good Gaian, I think. Oh, see those spider legs? Yeah, I was just checking to see it. Oop. if we have anything that we could leave for that spider to catch. And that actually... Oh boy, it's 3 o'clock. So that's a bit of an interesting story. Is this is an old game, right? Like this game is over 20 years old by now. And I first played it when I was like when I was little when it first came out. And I didn't know up until maybe a couple years ago, 
when I saw some guy on YouTube do it. I didn't know that you could feed the spider by leaving something in its web for it to catch and eat. I think it was... I think I saw this guy on YouTube, One Beer Gaming. He did that. And it's like... It's amazing to me that a game can be so old and it's like so primitive by today's standards, but I'm still finding out new things about it. It's, it's amazing to me. Okay, so we got a few more things from that. And we have the Swiss Army knife. So I think my next move is to go back to the kitchen. And don't worry, I'll explore the rest of the basement later too. But okay. But first let's get this bear. The cutest part of this game. Teddy bear. Okay. This puzzle is moving around pretty quickly. That was actually helpful. Nice. As the house gets more active, like as it gets more haunted and more people are awake, uh, those like slidey puzzle pieces will move by themselves more often. So yeah, still just a few people awake, judging by the ghosts. Let's make a pie. Oh, yeah. Fresh ingredients. <laughs> um, what can we cook? Or I guess bake. Let's bake this. Uh, oh, we don't want to bake that? I'm shocked. Uh, what else can we bake? I wonder if we can bake this thing. No? Really? How about this? Oh. Uh, maybe we don't have anything that's good baking. Let's just cut it open instead. Oh, look who's here. This is the kid. Uh, he's normally pretty friendly. So let's give him something that he will like. And I think I know just the thing. How about this? Mm-hmm. Yes! Oh, I knew he would want that. That's his teddy bear. And it seems like he's always looking for it. So, okay. Now let's dig into this. Where is that Swiss Army knife? Here we go. Mm-hmm. Oh, 
lovely an eyeball. You know, I think you can cut the eyeball open again too. Or Oh, how resourceful. She did mention eyeballs earlier, so let's give that a give it a go. Uh, and let's turn the stove on. Okay. So we already got a key from him. So I don't think we can get another key from him. But I know we have other stuff that he wants. So maybe we can trade up. Didn't we have a toy ball? Yes, we did. Okay. Mink isn't bad, I'll take it. I'll take it and carve it open. Oh my god, another key. This is actually going so well. I was so right to choose the easy difficulty. Okay, let's let's put our keys away. Oh, there must be tons more people awake now. That's good. More people, more keys. Let's just save real quick here. So what are we at? Uh, oops. We are at... Have a lock on or something. Six keys at what is it? Three o'clock, I think. Yeah. We might actually make it out of here alive. Although things can change quickly in this game. Uh, you do one thing to make the house angry, and things can kind of fall apart. But still. Okay, we have to wait for our pie to bake. So what if we... Let's explore the basement a bit more. Yeah, do not deliver food to this house. Okay, so this room is another room that I don't come in all that much in this game. <laughs> and you'll see why. This is the torture chamber. Yeah. It's kind of a last resort room for me. Um, oh. Like, you can trap someone in here. Or there can be a monster waiting in here for you. I guess it was kind of risky to open it like that. Um, you can trap someone in this thing. And you can... I guess you can tickle them. Tickling is torture. I do agree with that. Or you can use this on them. I don't even know what this is. Or, if you trap them in here... You can compact them. And I think if you compact them, I think they're out of the game permanently. Maybe. So yeah. But using this stuff makes the house really angry. Because you're torturing its inhabitants. So 
Fair enough. Um, we'll leave that for later, but let's not resort to that quite yet. Let's just go to the bathroom instead. <laughs> also, it sort of drives me crazy. This house is so big and there's only one bathroom. Okay. Uh, hmm. So, oh, I think it just got a little bit darker. It gets darker as it gets later in this game. Um, something. Oh my god, every time I open this, it gets darker. I gotta keep doing it because I want to show you something. <gasps> Yeah, there's a screaming man that lives in the mirror. Um, sometimes he gives you tips, though. It's also these guys. Oh, guess I shouldn't have clicked on them. These are the cockroaches. You can give them something and sometimes, if you're very lucky, they will give you something back. Most of the time it's too much work to give you something back, but let's try. Oh. Yeah, they have no need for that. Um, do they want this? I guess so. Oh my god, they actually managed to drag something up for us. This is not bad. Uh, we can give that to the kid. Two-headed monster might also like it. Uh, oh, we can't take that flask unless we... Like, you can make, like, potions in the sink. Um, and then you can take the flask with you if it's full of the potion. But yeah... Otherwise, let's just get out of here. <laughs> yeah, so that's another secret way to uh, travel around the house. You can use the library or you can flush yourself down the toilet. Um, I think we've already gotten everything we need to get out of this room, so, yeah. Oh, we should go check on our pie. I hope it's not burnt. Okay, let's see what we've got. What do you mean? Oh. Oh. Yeah, she overdid it a lot. Well, I don't know. Should we try and cook something else? I don't know if we have anything else, like, 
cookable. Uh, I guess we can slice that open. Yeah, we don't really have any other cooking stuff. Let's just see what comes out of here. Another eyeball. Well, shall we try again? Oh, hello there. Oh, and time is marching on. Okay. Let's just quickly, she probably wants this. Let's just give her this real quick. Oops. Oh. I thought for sure she would give us something. Don't vampires love blood and stuff? Oh well. You know what? We are still doing pretty well, though. We are almost halfway there. Uh, let me just save this guy again, and that'll be it for this part. Let's see if we can keep up our uh, keep up our good streak in the next video. Thanks for watching.